Put your guns down, man. Step out of the vehicle, ma'am. Put your guns down. Please step out of the vehicle and we can be done here. Is that your supervisor? YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you're not subscribed to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, man, go ahead and throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free. So show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I want to bring to y'all today was, I had someone send me a video. Shout out to Jamal, man. Race car shouting. Shout out to him, man. I had him send me this video, man. He wanted to do a reaction to it. Um, somehow we couldn't find time. You know, he's trying to run two businesses. I'm trying to run my businesses. And, you know, we just couldn't find the time to react to it. But I'll be reacting to this video today, man. A female truck driver gets held at gunpoint by the police on the highway. The busy highway shut down the entire highway because... She told her company that if y'all don't want to send me home, I'm fixing to just go home. I'm terrified. I don't know what's going on. I don't got no weapons. I ain't got no gun. I ain't got nothing. What the f***? No, y'all got, I'm scared. I'm terrified. Why do y'all got 50? They didn't got the whole cops to throw me guns. What the f*** is going on? Okay, but why do y'all got y'all gun? Why is y'all so many folks? What the f What did I do? But drive! Okay, but why y'all got y'all guns drawn? Like y'all act like I didn't commit a crime or something? I ain't did no believe in shit. I'm about to go to the pilot. I don't understand why y'all... Y'all act like I didn't commit a murder or something. Okay, what? Okay, where's your white shirt at? I went, where's your white shirt at? I need a lieutenant because I, I don't know what the f is going on. I'm terrified, like literally. Okay, well, can I speak to a lieutenant? I need to speak to a lieutenant, please. Like, why y'all, what y'all got y'all guns for? For what? I ain't even did nothing. I bet this is Ishmi and uh, West Coast friends and called and lied to these people. A stolen vehicle. A stolen vehicle. stolen? I got the contract. What are you talking about? I'm going to give you one more chance. You're in a stolen vehicle considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Armed and and called him and lied. Told him I'm armed and dangerous. Pepper Bell. Pepper Bell, okay. But can I talk to a white shirt? I will step out. I'm not a problem. I will step out. I just want to talk to a white shirt, please. Let me talk to a lieutenant. I will step out. Like, I'm not a threat. I'm not a threat. I'm not in a stolen vehicle. Okay, that's fine. I will, but y'all got helicopters. Y'all got 55 officers. Like, what the Y'all got guns, Drew? What do y'all expect a person like me how I'm supposed to feel when I ain't done nothing wrong? I'm not going nowhere. Step out of the vehicle with your hands up. My hands are up. I'm filming for my protection and yours. I just want to talk to a supervisor so I can see what's going on. I'm scared. What do you not understand about that? I don't know. Y'all didn't kill people like me. I don't know. Oh, I know why y'all got a different story now. All I'm asking for. Okay, who's a de-escalated person? Because you're not making it any better. I just want to talk to a supervisor so I can be some better understanding. So I'm not comfortable. Y'all got y'all guns drawn. Put your guns down and I'll get out. It's not a problem. Like, I'm not trying to be an issue. Okay, that's all understandable. But what? Can I talk to somebody else? Because you're not, you're not understanding. I can't hear you. We're on a freeway. At this point, you just need to comply and step out of the vehicle. Okay. 
fine. But I need to be concerned for my safety as well. What do you don't understand about that? It's Warner Pepper, and he got a shotgun. He got a shotgun. He got a shotgun. I ain't got no damn weapons. I'm driving a truck. Well, put your guns down. Look, put your guns down, man. Put your guns down. Is that your supervisor? Let me talk to you, supervisor. I got it. It's me, West Coast, everybody here know West Coast Trans. They didn't did this shit to me because I told them I was going home. Because they tried to make me drive illegal. And now they didn't call a lot to these people, the authorities, and said I was armed and dangerous, and that I was in a stolen vehicle. That they lying. Now they got these pill police out here out on me with guns, pepper bombs, helicopter. I, what? Super, is that the supervisor? This is crazy. To a supervisor, you need to step out of the vehicle and comply. Nobody here wants to hurt you, but we do want you to step out of the vehicle. I can't. I can't tell. If we step out of the vehicle, we can be done here. Step out with your hands up. This is crazy. Put it down. This is the right command that nothing's going to happen. Step out of the vehicle with your hands up. Leave whatever's in your hands on the driver's seat and we'll direct it for you. I'm not leaving my papa. Okay, at least put the cigarette out. Man, I ain't got right, no weapon. Don't worry, don't worry about the dog. Just step out and listen to I'm the I'm not worried about dogs. I don't worry about him being good. Okay, listen to your command. Hold to your gun. Hold to your gun. Hold to your gun. Hold to your gun. I guarantee you, if you comply, nothing's going to happen to you. I ain't dying on this highway. Stepping down, watch your step. I don't want you to fall. Watch your step. I ain't dying on this highway, man. Okay, watch your step when you're coming down. I don't want you to fall. I can't go. I gotta turn around. I have to turn around. Try your best to step down. I'm fat. I can't step down like that. But I'm fat. I cannot step down like that. I ain't got no weapons. I am understanding that but I need you to come out with your hands up. Step down. Step down from the vehicle, please. Oh, you want me to break my leg? I'm not going to do that. I got to turn around. I have to grab this bar and this bar and step down. Like I said, the only, the only way I can guarantee nothing happens to you is if you comply with what I'm telling you right now. Keep stepping down. What do you not understand? Physically, I cannot. I understand that, but I need you to try your best. Move up to the door with your right hand. Step down. I'm putting this in my bra. Okay, that's fine. Stepping down. You're fine, don't worry about that. Say you need to focus on my command. Tell him to put his gun up, man. You don't worry about that. You need to worry about my command. That was me for you for, for you future drivers and for you drivers that's trying to go on with some of these companies. Be aware and be safe that you know who you're signing on with because a lot of these companies, they don't want you to go home. They'll tell you when you get ready to sign on, oh, yeah, we're going to get you home every week. Oh, yeah, we get you home every two weeks. And then when that time comes for you to go home, they don't want you to go home. They want to keep that truck running. So what they'll do is they'll tell you, oh, we're going to get you home tomorrow. And then they'll run you somewhere that's way past your house or out of the way from your house so you can't get home. And then they'll tell you, oh, we're going to get you home the next day. 
And then they do the same thing. They keep doing it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until finally you say, to hell with it, I'm going home. And then they want to play these tricky games. And these sorts of things and these types of things is what happens. So be careful on who you're signing on with, up and coming drivers. Be careful that you do your homework and you make sure that you ask about these companies and stuff because boy i don't know what i would have did in that situation that this young lady went through but if it was me i wouldn't have told him i was going home i just would have said all right where y'all sending me to and then they would have told me where they sending me to i would have took the opposite direction and parked that truck at that wherever i was going at and i would have told them hey y'all's truck is here come pick your truck up i'm getting all this on recording to let y'all know so y'all can't say that I abandoned y'all truck or anything like that. Here's your truck. I will be mailing you your keys. I don't want you. It's in a safe spot. I have told wherever I left the truck. I told him where I left it at. And here it is. That's the way you should handle it. If you tell them that you're going home and that you finna quit that company, they're going to throw an APB out. Stolen truck, armed and dangerous. And this is the type of thing that's going to happen to you. I don't know what happened to this young lady in this video. I don't know if she lost her life or what. But they kind of sprayed her truck up. They said it was going to shoot pepper balls. But we all know how that goes. But anyhow, if y'all got videos, man, send them out to me, man. Runawaychild35 at Gmail. And if y'all on Instagram, at Runawaychild35. Hit me up. Subscribe to the channel. Throw a like on this video, man. Comment. Let me know what y'all think. What would y'all have done? Let me know. But anyway, we are out.